In 1903, the Znamya newspaper in St. Petersburg, Russia published an article, allegedly forging the minutes of the late 19th century Zion movement meeting, where Jewish leaders discussed the goals of Jewish hegemony global Jewry. Accordingly, the protocol sets forth a plan to overthrow the morality of the non-Jewish world. A plan for Jewish bankers to control the world economy, a plan to control the press, and a plan to destroy human civilization. And given that, the Jews have no intention of settling in Palestine or any separate country. They are a threat to the world. And the Aryan races will have to permanently reside outside of Europe. The text was later translated into many languages and distributed across the continent. Henry Ford, the founder of the Ford Automobile Corporation, sponsored 500,000 copies to be printed and distributed throughout the United States. That fueled anti-Semitism in the early 20th century. It also became a propaganda document in the later Nazi era. In 1917, during World War I, the British Empire defeated the Turkish Ottoman Empire and gained control of Palestine. As the number one power in the world at that time, Britain issued a statement in support of the establishment of a national home for the Jewish people in Palestine. Although at that time the Jews made up very little here. The term national home is ambiguous and has no precedent in international law. Many Jews interpret this to mean all Palestine will become a Jewish state. This statement has many long-term consequences. It added widespread support for Zionism. And it is considered to have caused the Israeli-Palestinian conflict, which is still tense today. This is a conflict that has been described as the world's most awkward. Also in 1917, during the Russian Civil War, there were more than 2,000 purges, which left tens of thousands of Jews killed and hundreds of thousands more homeless. With the end of World War I, another golden age of development for the Jewish people, albeit rather brief, was ushered in. This period lies between the First and Second World Wars. The Jewish population then grew to a record, higher than it is today, with 9.5 million people living in Europe. Of these, 6,760,000 are in Eastern Europe. In Poland it was 3 million, in the Soviet Union it was 2.5 million. More than 520,000 people live in Germany. The Jewish population in the United States is 4.4 million. The total Jewish population of the world in 1933 was 15.3 million. It all ended when fascism took the throne in Germany. Fascism considers the Aryan white people first. Among them, the Germans have the purest Aryan blood. Gypsies and Slavic peoples such as Poland, Croatia, Bulgaria, Ukraine are considered inferior, below human standards. The Jews were considered especially dangerous to Germany. It means, not really human. Immediately after Hitler was appointed Chancellor of Germany in 1933, concentration camps began to be built. The first was the Dachau concentration camp, in March 1933. The Dachau concentration camp served as a prototype, and a model for other Nazi concentration camps that followed. The German government began isolating Jews from civil society. Includes boycott of Jewish businesses, April 1933. Pictured is a Nazi soldier, standing outside a Jewish department center in Berlin. With the slogan, Germans. Protect yourself. Don't buy from Jews. In September 1933, Nazi Germany enacted the Land Heritage Act. Accordingly, Germans with any Jewish ancestry dating back to 1800 were prohibited from farming. And their land was divided among the purebred Germans. On August 2, 1934, German President Hindenburg died. The presidency was abolished. Hitler seized power and officially became the supreme leader of the German Empire. In May 1935, Jews were excluded from the armed forces. Military members are prohibited from marrying non-Aryans. In September, the Nuremberg Law was passed by the German Parliament. Accordingly, Jews are no longer German citizens and cannot marry Germans. From March 1936, Jewish doctors were banned from practicing on German patients. In July 1936, Nazi Germany began building the Sachsenhausen concentration camp. In July 1937, the Buchenwald concentration camp began to operate. In March 1938, the Flossenburg concentration camp was opened. In July 1938, 
Horatio Manifesto was published by the Italian fascists, leading to the deprivation of citizenship of the Jews in Italy. In August 1938, the mothansen gusen concentration camp complex was opened in Austria. In October, German citizens of Jewish origin were required to have a red J in their passports. Turning point, night of broken glass, on November 7, young German-Jewish, Herschel Grinspan shot dead a diplomat of the German embassy, in Paris. Taking advantage of that incident, the Nazis began a war against Jewish communities, throughout Germany. It became known as the Night of Broken Glass and lasted through the night of November 9th and the morning of November 10th. More than 90 people were killed, more than 30,000 Jews were arrested and sent to concentration camps. Thousands of shops, Jewish homes and more than 200 synagogues were vandalized or burned. The Night of Broken Glass caused a new wave of Jewish emigration from Germany. After that, Jews were forbidden to trade in goods, according to the decree on elimination of Jews from economic life, and was fined the equivalent of $400 million to repair damage from the Night of Broken Glass. This event was a turning point for Nazi Germany to begin large-scale purge campaigns. On November 15, all Jewish children were expelled from German public schools. In December, the Neuenheim concentration camp came into operation. In early September 1939, the Soviet Union and Germany invaded Poland. Thousands of Polish Jews were killed by SS soldiers. On September 2, Stutthof concentration camp was established. On September 21, the Nazis brought all German Jews to Poland and gathered all the Polish Jews in the big cities. In 1940, the Bergen-Belsen concentration camp was put into operation. In May, the Auschwitz-Birkenau camp went into operation. Auschwitz is a complex of concentration camps and execution camps, which will become the main site of implementation of the plan for the final solution to the Jewish problem. At the end of April, the first Nazi ghetto was established, in the city of Lodz, Poland, where it concentrated and detained tens of thousands of Jews. The ghetto ghetto is where the Nazis founded in the large and densely populated Jewish cities, in Poland. The purpose was to put the Jews under house arrest, before being sent to the execution camps. On June 22, France surrendered to Germany. Germany directly annexed Andat and Lorraine to its territory. 3,000 Jews were deported to the southern region of France. In early September, the Brindang concentration camp was opened in Belgium. On October 12, all Jews were expelled from Luxembourg. On November 15, the Warsaw Ghetto, the largest Jewish ghetto was established, by building a fence around this area. The Jews were completely isolated from the outside world. This is a Jewish residential area with about 400,000 people, on an area of only 3.3 square kilometers. That means the population density is up to more than 100,000 people per square kilometer. This area before the war was the financial and commercial center of Warsaw, where Jews controlled most of the trade. Now, it has turned into a crowded, dirty slum. And it's like any other ghetto, poverty, disease and death are the characteristic images here. In March 1941, the Jewish ghetto, Krakow ghetto was established. In May, the concentration camp Natzweiler Struthoff was put into operation. In August, the Drancy camp was established near Paris. Also in August, the Janoska concentration camp and extermination camp was established. From September 1, all Jews aged 6 and over in Germany and the occupied territories must wear a yellow Star of David badge on their clothing. This badge was not only to stigmatize and humiliate the Jews, but also to distinguish and control them. On September 3, poison gas was first used to execute Jews at Auschwitz-Birkenau camp. The Nazis used Zyklon B, an insecticide that released hydrogen cyanide, when exposed to water and heat. Each gas chamber bunker holds about 1,000 people. When the bunker is full, the door is locked and Zyklon B pellets are released into the room, through the vents in the wall, and began to emit poisonous gas. People locked in rooms will die within 20 minutes. They die quickly or slowly depending on the position of the person standing near the vent or not. When cleaning up the victim's bodies, the prisoners who were once dentists were tasked with using pliers to retrieve the gold teeth from the corpse's mouths. And the hair of the dead woman was cut off. According to Nazi documents, prisoners' hair was used in the textile industry. 
On September 29 to September 30, the Babi Yar massacre occurred, after the 6th Army and SS Special Forces entered Kiev, Ukraine. The Jews in Kiev numbered about 220,000 before the German invasion. They largely fled or served in the Soviet Red Army. At that time, only about 50,000 Jews remained, mainly the elderly, women and children. When they captured Kiev, the Germans announced the evacuation of Jews from the city. All the Jews of the city of Kiev must be present at 8 a.m. on Monday, September 29, at the corner of Melnikova and Doktorivskia streets. When traveling bring warm clothes, papers, money and valuables. This call was heeded by more Jews than expected. They were led in groups out of the city, into the Babi Yar Gorge. Both women and men have to take off their clothes. And then systematically shot dead by a machine gun. Within 36 hours, on September 29th and 30th, 33,771 Jews were brutally killed. One of the few survivors, Dina Pronitskua, described the horror as follows, they had to lie face down on the bodies of those who had been massacred. And wait for the bullets, coming from above. Then to the next group. The Jews came and died like this for 36 hours. Perhaps those who are waiting to die and who have died are the same. But everyone is different until the very end. Everyone has different thoughts and hunches until everything is clear. And then everything went dark. Some people die with thoughts of others. Like the mother of the beautiful 15-year-old Sarah, who asked to die with her daughter. Here even the last minute remains a worry, when she sees her daughter killed, she won't have to see her raped. Another naked mother spends her last moments nursing her newborn baby. When the baby was thrown into the ravine, she jumped. By October 12, a total of 51,000 Jews in Kiev had been killed. The German army then placed explosives that broke up the canyon, leaving the rock fragments to hide the corpses. Jewish belongings are kept in a warehouse and distributed to the needy as well as citizens of German origin in Kiev. The clothes were loaded onto 137 trucks and delivered to the Nazi People's Welfare Service. On October 1, the Majdanek death camp opened. On December 8, the Chelno death camp began operating. On December 21st at Bogdanovka concentration camp, Ukraine, typhus disease spread from lice and fleas broke out in the camp. The German advisor advised the Romanian chief to kill all the prisoners. Romanian soldiers and Ukrainian police doused themselves with kerosene and burned thousands of Jews alive. Others were sent to be shot in the woods. In just 10 days, more than 40,000 Jews were killed here. In 1942, Nazi Germany launched the highest stage of massacre in the genocide. Notorious execution camps such as Belzec, Sobobor and Treblinka were opened. At the end of March, more than 75,000 Jews in France were sent to the Auschwitz death camp. In July, the Nazis put into operation the Mali Trustinets extermination camp, in Belarus. On July 22, the campaign to deport Jews from the Warsaw Ghetto to the Treblinka camp began. During this campaign, the Jews were persecuted in daily raids. They marched through the slums and gathered at the train station yard, to call it an eastward resettlement. From there, they boarded Holocaust trains to the Treblinka execution camp. This was the second most notorious Nazi death camp, after Auschwitz. Shuttle trains, each carrying 4,000 to 7,000 people, regularly run from Warsaw to Treblinka, for eight weeks. About 300,000 Jews were sent to the execution camp during the campaign. On July 23, right after receiving the first train, the Treblinka death camp began operating at full capacity. Between that time and October 1943, an estimated 700,000 to 900,000 Jews were executed at Treblinka. From August, Jews in Belgium and Norway began to be sent to the Auschwitz death camp. In 1943, the uprising in the Warsaw Ghetto from mid-1942, Nazi Germany began to send the Warsaw Ghetto Jews to the Treblinka execution camp. Initially, the Jews were deceived, they were sent to resettle to the east. But when they learned the truth, the remaining Jews understood that they would all be killed by the Germans sooner or later. So they decided to resist to the last person. On April 19, SS soldiers flooded the ghetto with a plan to deport 60,000 Jews in three days. But was ambushed by Jewish rebels, who threw bombs, gasoline, and grenades from alleys, sewers and windows. 
the Germans suffered 59 casualties and were repulsed. The SS commander in Warsaw was replaced after the defeat. Soon, the Germans launched a new, better organized attack. Thousands of Jews were massacred. When the Germans moved systematically into the slums, they blew up and burned every building there. The rebels retreated to the sewers to continue fighting. But on May 8, their bunker fell to the Germans, and the resistance leaders committed suicide. On May 16, the slum was under the control of Nazi soldiers. The Warsaw Ghetto was flattened to the ground. The Germans deported the last Warsaw Jews to the Treblinka execution camp. On August 2, there was an uprising at the Treblinka camp. An underground Jewish resistance organization opened an armory, burned buildings, blew up gasoline tanks and spread the fire to surrounding structures. More than 200 Jews managed to escape the camp. But most were killed or captured by German and Ukrainian soldiers. Only 70 people survived by the time the war ended. A similar uprising took place at the Sobobor execution camp on October 14. The Jews coordinated with Soviet prisoners to organize the uprising. However, only 53 people survived the escape. The rest are more than 400 people who were killed. In March 1944, German troops occupied Hungary. Two months later, Jews and Hungarians began to be sent to the Auschwitz death camp. In April at Hujewa Gorka, the Germans exhumed and burned the bodies of about 10,000 Jews to conceal the crime before retreating from the area. Starting in July, the Soviet Union and its allies gradually prevailed on the battlefield. On July 23, Majdanek, the first major death camp was liberated by the Soviet Red Army. On October 7, crematorium No. 4 at Auschwitz camp was destroyed, during the Sonderkommando uprising. The Sonderkommando was a special German unit made up of Jewish prisoners, forced to execute their own countrymen. On November 25, Hitler ordered the destruction of the Auschwitz gas chambers to conceal evidence of genocide. On January 27, the Ukrainian Front liberated the Auschwitz death camp. And this day has been designated as the International Day of Remembrance for Holocaust Victims. From then to May 1945, other concentration camps were liberated by the Soviet Union and its allies, respectively. According to documents released by the West German Ministry of Justice, in 1967, Nazi Germany established 1200 large and small concentration camps during World War II. According to the Jewish Electronic Library, there are as many as 15,000 concentration camps across the occupation zones in Europe. Concentration camp here is the common name for prison camps, labor camps, transit camps and execution camps, also known as death camps. Execution camps were designed and built specifically to kill prisoners in large numbers. Most of the execution camps were located in Poland, the most famous of which was the Auschwitz-Birkenau complex, which killed at least 1.7 million people. Camp Treblinka killed between 700,000 and 900,000 people. Camp Belzec killed more than 430,000 people. More than 90% of the people who died in the execution camps were Jews. Across the European occupation zones, the Nazis and their minions systematically murdered around 6 million Jews, or two-thirds of the Jewish population in Europe, or one-third of the Jewish population tie around the world. Europe's Jewish population dropped from 9.5 million to 3.8 million after World War II. Meanwhile, the Jewish population in the United States has grown to 5 million. In the land of Israel, Palestine, at that time, this land was still a British mandate of Palestine. When the war ended, the flow of Jews into the land of Israel, Palestine increased day by day. The Jewish population in this area increased from 80,000 in 1920 to 600,000 after World War II. That's why Arab-Jewish conflicts continued to occur here. To resolve this ethnic conflict, in November 1947, the United Nations divided the land of Palestine into two countries, Jewish and Arab. Each country will include three main territories, located alternately due to the distribution of ethnicities. Jerusalem alone includes Bethlehem. Because of its sacred religious nature, it will be under the direct management of the United Nations. The majority of Jews accepted this proposal. While the Arabs objected, because they thought the Jews received too much favor. With a total population of more than 500,000, the Jews received 56% of the area. 
While the Arabs have more than 1.2 million people, they receive only 42% of the territory. The Arabs completely rejected the idea of a Jewish state in Palestine. Violence between the Arab and Jewish communities erupted immediately afterward. Towards the end of the British mandate, the Jews intended to declare a separate state, a move the Arabs were determined to prevent. On May 14, 1948, the last British forces left Palestine. And the Jews proclaimed the establishment of the State of Israel. Immediately after the proclamation of the State of Israel, forces consisting of five Arab states, Egypt, Syria, Iraq, Jordan and Lebanon attacked the State of Israel from all directions. 1,000 Lebanese troops, 5,000 Syrian troops, 5,000 Iraqi troops attacked the Northern Territories. 4,000 Jordanian troops attacked the Jerusalem area and its vicinity. At the same time, 10,000 Egyptian troops attacked from the south. Although this attack was condemned by the Soviet Union, the United States and even the United Nations Secretary General, it was supported by China and several other countries. In the following months of the war, both sides worked to increase their manpower, but Israel gained the upper hand. Due to the mobilization of the whole people, Accompanied by an abundant force, from the flow of Jewish refugees continuing to pour into Israel, up to 10,000 people a month. The initial Israeli force was only 29,000 men. But six months later it had increased to 110,000 troops. During the same period, the Arab force only increased from 40,000 to 55,000. Regarding the air force, the Israeli side was also completely overwhelmed, because they ordered a large number of aircraft from Europe. In addition, they were supplemented with a series of experienced Jewish pilots who served in the World War. With the advantage of force, from late 1948 to mid-1949, Israel continuously launched counter-offensive campaigns, repelling Arab troops from the territory. As a result, in 1949, Israel signed separate ceasefire treaties with Egypt, Jordan, and Syria. Israel's new border, according to the signed agreement, has increased from 56% to 78% of the area of the Palestinian mandate. Will Israel, with its small territory and extremely modest population, be able to confront neighboring Arab countries in the next wars? Why are there black Jews? What is the relationship between the Kurds and the Jews and which is the most intelligent branch of the Jewish population? We invite you to follow along in the last part.